Today I'm going to be making a dish that I call roasted spiral potatoes and bacon. It's a really simple dish that's ready in about an hour and 30 minutes from start to finish. All you'll need are potatoes, green onions, cheddar cheese, sour cream, peanut oil, sliced bacon, butter, black pepper, granulated garlic, granulated onion, kosher salt, and Hungarian paprika. Let's get started. All right, to start, we're gonna come in and cut our potatoes in equal slices, maybe a little less than a quarter of an inch thick. How many potatoes you actually need depends on how big your skillet is. I'll probably end up using maybe four or five. Okay, now that the potatoes have been cut, I've added them to this large bowl. I'm gonna hit them with a little bit of peanut oil. Just a little. And this is an ingredient that I didn't mention in my ingredients list. I'm gonna add some minced garlic to these potatoes. Maybe a couple tablespoons, maybe three. Can't have too much garlic. And I'm gonna come in here and just kind of toss that around a little bit. Separate the potatoes. Try to get as much garlic coverage as I can. The skillet I'll be using for this today is my good old trusty Lodge 12 inch skillet. First thing we'll do is come in with a little bit of peanut oil. Just oil this pan a little bit. Don't need a lot because we're gonna have plenty of fat from the bacon that we're gonna use in this. But we don't want the potatoes to stick to the bottom of the skillet. What I've done is I've gone through my potatoes and I've picked out all of the largest pieces. These will line the outer rim of our spiral. So I'm gonna take this like so, get a slight angle on it, and then we're just gonna go around. And you kinda of have to hold each one in place. And we're just gonna keep going all the way around. Okay, and when we get to the end, we're gonna tuck this potato under the very first potato, like so. And that's our outer rim of our spiral. Now we're ready to do the next row. Gonna come in like that. Doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, you do want some uniformity in it. Part of the challenge on this as you go along is choosing the potato that you lay next, making sure it's the right size. Some people might think this is labor intensive, but I think the end product is definitely worth it. All right, so now we're coming to that last one and we're gonna do that same thing. We're gonna tuck the potato right under the last one and hope it doesn't fall. Great. Okay, and on to the next round. All right, we're getting close to the inside. And to finish it off, I'm just gonna use the end of one of the potatoes and place it in like so. All right, now we're gonna season our potatoes. Uh, first, we're gonna go down with our kosher salt. Okay, some fresh ground black pepper. Granulated garlic. granulated onion, All right, 
And now we're going to go down with just a really, really light dusting of um, Hungarian paprika. I'm going to use a shaker for this so I can get it to come out really evenly. Not so much for, for flavor, but for color. All right, this is thick cut applewood smoked bacon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in slices this way. Then I'm going to come back and just dice it. Okay, now we're going to put our bacon on top of our potatoes. Put it between the potatoes, on top, anywhere you see an opening. Try to make it as even as possible. If you've ever done a dish like this before and you haven't used the bacon, now this is what really sets this dish apart. I've done this before and uh, usually I top the potatoes with butter, but I got to thinking if I use bacon, the bacon fat would render out and baste the potatoes as it cooked. And I figured that uh, doing it this way, the bacon wouldn't burn either. And it doesn't, it comes out perfectly crispy. Okay, I think that's enough bacon. This is gonna go into a 400 degree oven for 45 minutes. After that, we'll take it out and I'll show you what we do next. Okay, this is after 45 minutes in the oven, and this looks amazing. See the bacon is starting to crisp up. It's not burning at all. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to douse this with a little melted butter. You can hear that sizzle. Okay, that looks great. Now we're gonna go back into the oven at 425 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, while those are in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and chop my green onions. Okay, this is after 45 minutes in the oven. Now we're gonna go ahead and garnish with our cheese. This is going to go back in the oven just long enough to melt the cheese, maybe five minutes or so. And we are done. Wow. That looks amazing. You can see how that cheese kind of melted down. Now you can see the bacon. Uh, you can see the formation of the potatoes. That is beautiful. And right in the center, just a little dollop of sour cream. Just for decoration. So that's it. Roasted spiral potatoes and bacon. I hope you'll give it a try. Thanks for watching.